Here's the naked, ugly truth about owning a Honda Ridgeline. Depreciation factor after five years, 55%. And the five-year resale value is just over 19 grand. This chart here shows the expected depreciation for the next 10 years on a Honda Ridgeline. These results are for vehicles in considered good condition, averaging 12,000 miles per year. It also assumes a selling price of 42,300 when new. So if those numbers didn't scare you off and you're still interested, what about buying new versus used? If you buy one that's two years old, you could save 13,500 compared to buying brand new and still have a relatively new model with plenty of useful life and technology remaining. If you plan on keeping that vehicle for three years, your total cost of depreciation would be 9,600 bucks. So we talked about depreciation, the cost of new and used resale. There's also the insurance factor to consider. The average cost to insure a Ridgeline is around $1,400 per year. After five years, it's around $7,200 of vehicle ownership. And unlike depreciation, this expense can be lowered by shopping around for lower insurance premiums. Comparing quotes will make sure that you're not overpaying if you already own one. Or if you're just researching, then this would be good information to have. One more thing about the Honda Ridgeline is the best model year to buy. It's been around for a few years. The 2020 is actually the best model year for value. With the 2020, you would only pay on average 76% of the price as new with 92% of the vehicle's useful life remaining. The 2019 and 18 model years are also pretty attractive and provide a relatively good value. And these values are based on multiple factors, including its price as new, current price, maintenance costs, and remaining years of overall predictable expenses. So you want one. You want one new or used? Either way, check out quotes.everymandriver.com to find the best deals and quotes in your zip code. Again, quotes.everymandriver.com. Now the Honda Ridgeline does things a little differently than your average pickup truck. Unlike most trucks that have a body-on-frame construction, the Ridgeline's unibody frame gives it a car-like handling, a quieter ride, and improved fuel economy. Those are not things typically associated with a truck, nor are its standard driver safety aids. That's what makes it special. While it lacks rivals towing and off-road skills, the Ridgeline is a more civilized daily driver. Beginning MSRP under 38 grand. Pros and cons, well, car-like driving comfort and driving dynamics standard driver safety technology, innovative cabin and cargo box features. As mentioned, not as capable off-road as its competitors, although it is worthy. Upper trim levels can get expensive and lower towing capacity than some others. When talking about what's new this year, well, it has a front end that's been redesigned, front wheel drive no longer available, optional appearance packages, add black accents, and more user-friendly infotainment system than before. Here's what's under the hood, a 3.5 liter V6, producing 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. It's enough power for daily driving, passing slower cars on the highway, or handling rough terrain. It is mated to a 9-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. Now, that all-wheel drive system includes intelligent traction management with four different driving modes, which helps you choose how you want to grip the road for different weather conditions. A four-wheel drive independent suspension gives it a smoother ride than rivals. Again, think the Honda Pilot or the Passport. The Ridgeline gets 18 city, 24 highway for a mixed driving number of 21 miles per gallon. It can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Not bad, but again, some competitors can pull over 7,000. When going inside, you can see it's all about comfort and ease of use. It has a similar style and refinement to all the other Honda crossover SUVs in the market. Its modern design includes an uncluttered dashboard with a standard 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system. And yes, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto integration are standard. Honda recently updated the screen to include physical volume control knobs as well, a feature that's been requested by its loyal fan base and appreciated by this reviewer. Most trucks try and feel rugged on the inside with clunky knobs and buttons, but the Ridgeline goes with a more understated route. Many of the controls feel like they came out of a Honda Accord, which is nice. Instead of a clunky gear shifter sticking out from the center console, you have the automatic transmission operated from an electronic gear selector that sits flush with the cup holders. There are plenty of in-cabin cubbies for your snacks and drinks, and on the RTLE and above, you get a wireless charging tray for your smartphone. 
Like any pickup truck, the Ridgeline comes with a cargo box, not very deep, actually pretty shallow, but there is more than meets the eye. Underneath this flat cargo bed is a lockable in-bed trunk with available storage dividers. And you also have a swing-out tailgate for versatility for those tailgate parties. All right, here's your breakdown on the trim levels and pricing, beginning with the Sport, which we have here, the RTL, RTLE, and Black Edition, something I've also reviewed in the past. The Sport starts at 36.5. Honda includes forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking to help mitigate collisions. There's also lane departure warning to alert you if the vehicle starts to drift. Adaptive cruise control takes some of the stress off the daily commute. On the outside, you've got automatic headlamps, fog lamps, LED tail lamps, and power side mirrors. The sports cabin has cloth upholstery, one touch up and down front windows, proximity keyless entry, push button start, remote engine start. Those are pretty good features already, right? And automatic climate controls for both seating rows. The standard 8-inch infotainment display has the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth. Next up is the RTL for $39.5. Leather upholstery comes standard here, a one-touch sunroof and heated front seats add an upscale touch to this vehicle. Other additions are the blind spot monitoring, power sliding rear window, and an acoustic windshield. All right, the RTL-E is $42.5. This is for people who really appreciate the technology that's available these days. A 540-watt premium sound system features in-bed speakers, in-cabin wireless smartphone charging, a truck bed power outlet, which means you'll never go without the electricity you need, and satellite link navigation makes sure you know where you're going. Other items are parking sensors, walk-away auto lock, auto dimming rear view mirror, second row USB charging ports, great for kids and anyone who has a device on them, which is everybody, LED headlights, rear cross traffic alert, and a heated leather steering wheel and driver's seat memory settings. If you want to feel stealthy, go for the black edition. That's around 44 grand. The exterior comes with gloss black accents and 18 inch black painted alloy wheels. Inside there is black and maroon upholstery. The steering wheel is contrast stitched with red thread. There's also unique red LED ambient lighting. All of this giving the black edition a more elegant curbside appeal. And finally, for a more rugged appeal, you have the option of the Honda Performance Development Package, which we have on our tester this week, the Sport. It features fender flares and bronze wheels for a more race-inspired look. Overall, the Honda Ridgeline really is a good choice for people who want a pickup truck with versatility without some of the more common drawbacks of ownership. Its unibody frame and independent suspension give it better handling and ride quality than its competitors. The refined cabin features its trademark attention to detail, comfortable seats, standard tech, and good storage, but its below average towing capacity and lack of four-wheel drive, although it has all-wheel drive, keeps this pickup from matching rivals for sheer rugged strength. In the end, it's a vehicle that's great for daily driving and some light off-roading. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.